Hey guys, what's up? We've got another image sent in to me. So we're working with who is Benjamin. So you guys go give him a follow down in the description. All of his links will be down there. And I'll just come down and we'll talk about his style a bit. You can see there's a lot of shadows and then there's obviously those red and orange tones. So we're going to be working on trying to get this flat look in the highlights and then getting these really rich tones through the shadows. So we are going to be working with this one right here, trying to recreate the exact same edit with the exact same photo. So he has sent this in to us. That's why I want you guys to comment down in the description who you guys want to see because that's how I go and reach out to people on Instagram. And yeah, you guys, if you like his style, he's got his presets here available for you guys. So if you just come here and click the link right here, it will take you straight over to a store and you guys can just come and see if you like his style here, looking at the before and afters. So back to Instagram. And yeah, let's get into Lightroom, see if we can create something rich and moody like this. Here's the edited one from his Instagram and the raw unedited photo that he has sent in to me. So first things first, let's bring up the exposure a bit. And then we want to really bring down the shadows. So if you look at areas like here, so even before we did the exposure, you can see we need to really bring down those shadows and make it a bit darker where it's already dark. So you brighten it up and then really bring down the shadows. And then we also want to bring down the highlights because it is quite a dark and moody look. So bringing down the highlights, you can just sort of see what that does. It creates a real flatness to the brighter areas. Bring them right down and then... Maybe the black's a little, for a little more contrast. And then the whites, we want a little pop to the brighter areas. So we've made it real flat and, and moody at the moment. And then we just need a little pop to the whites just so it's not so flat. There's a bit of contrast between the highlights and the whites. And then might do a bit with the tone curves later on as well, maybe. Okay. Um, so, real soft looking image. More creamy. Bring down the clarity. And then vibrance. So we don't want... We want sort of dark and rich tones. Vibrance sort of does the opposite of that. Creates more of a pop. And then we'll just bring down the saturation. Okay. Okay, so when I'm doing this, I'm not... I know we're going to have to come in with a brush and brush the face. So I'm just sort of concerned about areas like here. We've got to try to match up how bright and dark the areas are around here. So I'm going to do the tone curve now. And... Yeah, that's the sort of things I'll be looking at. I'll try to explain a bit more. Okay, so that's the tone curve done. And maybe just before I explain the tone curve, I might bump up the saturation the oranges because they need to come up quite a bit a lot of oranges and reds in this one so I'm sort of I'm looking at this building I know I'm gonna come in with a brush for the face so I'm not really using that as a gauge I'm sort of using this building up here you can see it needs to be a lot brighter and then I'll just mess around with the hues later to get the right shade of orange. Okay, so 
tone curves. We're going for quite a flat look, but also rich tones. So bringing down the shadows here, um, it creates very rich tones because you're creating contrast with the color curves. So it's like doing, bringing down the reds a little, bringing down the greens a little, but you're doing it all at once. So you get the same color, but it, it creates a bit of contrast between the shadows and the midtones here. So you get a drop in brightness and contrast, and then it's gonna help you get some rich tones in the shadow areas where you want those colors. So, and then we just brought down the whites a touch, sort of just to add to that flat look and the highlights. Even brought down the highlights a touch, again, adding to that flat, flat look in the highlights. And then just a little lift to the blacks there, just to make sure they're not too harsh. And yeah, that's it for the curves there. And then, yeah, we want to bring down the shadows here and not do it all. Um, and not do it all up here because uh, the curves actually affects the colors as well, the richness of the tones. So if I did it all up here, we wouldn't be getting that richness. Okay. Let's move on. Let's try, we'll go down to calibration. So we want to get these reddish tones. And I do that by shifting the green primary over to the right. You can sort of see what it's doing. It's moving, even if you look at the oranges, you see they're a bit yellow. Everything looks, a, yeah. And then we shift this. And you get those nice reddish purples in there. So I'm going to shift that to about there. And then a slight orange and teal look. And again, it helps with those reds. So shifting that. there okay we're good we're good let's go split toning now so we want to add in a few more of these uh, rich rich oranges so let's go shadows Really warms up the image as well. Go about there. So that's on and off. See, it makes quite a big difference. Really warms it up. And you can see that's really effect that's affecting quite a bit of the highlights because it's a real cloudy day. Most of this is shadows, this image. So that's creating quite a large effect. Highlights, just gonna put the opposite in there, which is like a teal. Okay. That looks good. And we'll just go on to the hue saturation slider. So I'm gonna really bring down these blues. You can see in the background there, they need to come down a lot. And probably the aquas. aquas need to come down a lot. And then by bringing down almost everything, you get left with only these orange um, tones, rich tones. Let's bring it all down. Yellow's a little. Not many yellows in this one, but we'll bring them down a bit. Because we just really want to be left with the reds and oranges. And even though we've brought 
greens down to zero or minus 100. Um, and some of his other images on his Instagram page, there were still greens there and they, they had this nice goldish look to them. But with this style, you want to shift your greens all the way across to almost a blue. And because we have so much warmth coming in with the split toning um, in other ways, we need our greens will become too warm. They'll just look very, very orange. So I need to shift them as far away as I can from the oranges over here. And then they'll look a little less on the orange side and that will look much better. So there's a tiny bit you can see in this image if you look up there. But yeah, that's what... I've tried this on other images and that's what you need to do to achieve that. Okay, what else do we need to do? Sharpening. Bring down a bit. look at the luminance of the reds we'll bring up And we don't need any vignetting or grain, but what I see is a darkening of some of these corners. So let's grab filter. And I've actually already placed all these filters. So I'll just show you the effects I need to do. So this one's just coming in from the left here. And what we want to do is just frame the subject a bit better. So we've already got quite a natural amount of shadows down here and up there. We'll just frame so our eye gets kept down into the center of the image. So all I'm going to do is drop the exposure a bit there. Then... Okay, I've, we'll work on our subject now. So I've got a whole lot of brushes already placed. And what I'll do, what I've got is tick this box here so I can show you guys where I've brushed. Probably should have done a filter for this. But just a quick brush over all the places I want to brighten. And then I'll just use this one as just a general overall brightening of the shadows. Go a little further than I need to go. And then um, we'll go with this one. So this is affecting her entire face. I'll show you guys again. And now what we want to do with this one is just smooth out the skin. So let's drop the clarity by 100. Then, okay. So at the moment, you can see we lack contrast in the face. It looks kind of flat. So we need like, we need contrast. So I'm going to do that by lifting the highlights. I want it a bit brighter in the brighter areas. And a bit darker in... Let's lift the whites instead. See how that gets rid of that really flat look. Bit flat, need more contrast. Let's pop the whites. Um, okay. I 
might just bring down the saturation quite a bit. Just check if I've got the saturation correct down here. Yeah, looks about right. Um, okay, more of these brushes on the face. So um, with this one, what we want to do, what I want to do is just smoothen the skin a little more. So what I'm going to do is duplicate it, but and we'll just create another one on top of the exact same areas we brushed. But this one, I just want the clarity to be dropped to smoothen out the skin. So. And then I'll grab that one again and duplicate it one more time. And then you can get pretty smooth in the skin. And then some some people will take it into Photoshop for that, but that's probably the that's the quickest, easiest way I know how. Okay. Um let's do another brush, I think, or I'll just come back up and maybe a touch more saturation. I definitely need a little more contrast. Yeah, we'll bring the contrast up a bit and that introduces a few more colors. Touch more saturation. Um, let's... Okay, going back to working on our subject, I just want to place a filter. So again, I've already done it, and I'll just show you that I want to add in a bit, a bit more, even more of a pop, so more contrast. You could just up the contrast, but as you can see, pretty much the whole image is just shadows. So this is going to drop the shadows. Um, there's no range of colors in there. I mean shades. So. I need to grab the brightest areas, just the whites. Let's bring them up. Drop the blacks. Might just take a bit of saturation out. Because when you add in contrast, you're adding in saturation as well. Okay, um, so as you can see, he has kind of brighter highlights. We still kind of have that flat look. So yeah, I've got another brush here if I just show you. Uh, and this one's just over the highlights. So we just, where the light's hitting, you just brush where the light is hitting her face. I just want to do things like, um, we'll up the whites again. Drop the shadows to keep a little bit of con contrast there. Drop the blacks. So just again, trying to add in more contrast as it looks pretty flat. Like we've flattened out the entire image, but we don't want our subject's face to be that flat. Okay, so that's that done. Sort of close there. I'll just keep that about there. Um, maybe a little too much saturation in the face even. Um, so one more brush for her hair there. So if we grab this, um, I'll show you where it's affecting. So we just want to bring out the hair a bit. And then what we'll do is just bring up the exposure. About there. Bang. 
And I think we're pretty good there. And it looks maybe a little green to me. So what I'll do is maybe come down here. I might just play around with this one. See how that just gives a bit more purples and blues. I think we're a little on the green side. We could do with some richer reds down here and in the face even in the oranges as well so I might shift this one then I might drop the saturation of the blues more and you could also play around with this one maybe a bit more of orange and teal or back off on the highlights the blues and the highlights as you can see we're a bit we've already dropped the saturation of the aquas and the blues a lot so the blues in here are probably from the split toning so might either bring that down or increase the balance so introducing more warm tones to more of the image or just drop what's in the highlights then um in the face saturation could maybe come down and I might just we have very flat highlights that's what we've been trying to do but we might have gone a bit too far so if you look up here the lights even the highlights on your face the water there probably need a little more brightness to those bits there so what I'm gonna do grab the highlights and lift them up a bit you can see what that does And since we have such little whites, um, actually I'll keep them down a bit. Maybe mid-tone, see what this does. Yeah, might put a touch more in the mid-tones there, brightness there. And what I might do is just put the highlights of the blues back in because I could see we were just getting too warm and red up near the blues. So I think that's actually better how we had it. Maybe about there. And if we come back up. So I want to just add a bit more of a pop to the highlights. And I want to do that with the sliders here. So I'm going to lift the whites. But then keep the highlights here down because this is what controls the flat look and I think we're better off with it down here and I want to drop the blacks a bit more I think we're a bit just a bit more rich down here I don't want to drop the shadows anymore because you can see we lose the detail there so I think it's the blacks we want it a bit darker down in the darkest areas and yeah um, maybe about there yeah you don't want those blacks getting too black otherwise lift the black point up a little bit 
touch more of a fade though. Um, maybe just a bit less. Um, I'd maybe take it into Photoshop to uh, smooth out the skin a bit more. I'll just show you guys that right now. So if you just come up to help, it'll be, it'll be cut off from the recording, but you go up to help in the search bar, just type Photoshop. And then below it, it will say edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so that brings you straight into Photoshop and just quickly duplicate your background. So this is always a saved, um, a saved one with no edits on it. And then just grab this tool here, it's the blur tool, blur, and then you can just bracket key will make your brush smaller. Then you just want to make sure strength isn't too high. You've got a bit of a feather to your brush and you can just brush over. Turn the strength up a bit. And then if you look at the before and after, you can see we've blurred the skin, but you want to be really careful because uh, blurring the skin can have a pretty big effect. It can, I kind of like dropping the clarity a bit more, but yeah, you want to, you want to really make sure you're not going over any of the edges because it will blur the edges quite a lot and it just looks a little like your image isn't sharp almost sometimes but yeah that's how you do a bit more extra smoothing on the skin if you drop the clarity heaps and heaps in Lightroom you just can't get any smoother maybe do that so then you just go file save and then you go back into Lightroom and then you've got it right here just automatically is the first thing here but then you lose your settings here so you want to make sure you do that last so if we just go back to the one before we went to Lightroom and what I need to do is drop the shadows I think of the face as you can see we're just a bit too bright there but I'm gonna drop the shadows and I'm not gonna drop the whites you might think I might want to drop the whites but then it just looks so flat so I'm gonna drop the shadows a bit Even still a bit too bright. Okay, and I just want to brighten the wave down here. I think it acts as a good leading line to our subject a wee bit. You can see it's really bright, so I presume that he definitely did brush it. And then maybe brighten that little, whatever you call it, on the shirt there. So, that's about it guys. I will leave this one here. Make sure you comment down below who you guys want to see because that's how I find people. I'll go through all the comments and then reach out to them on Instagram, ask them to send in a photo and then do a tutorial on them. I'll be putting all those links down in the description so if you guys want to check out his presets, just go down there, check out the links there, and that will take you straight over. And yeah, if you guys are into video color grading, I've got a color grading course down in the description. Just hit the link there. And because I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to post that stuff over on YouTube here, I think I want to keep YouTube as a photo editing platform for now. So, real high quality LUTs over there, guys, if you go check out those tutorials and yeah make sure you comment down below go check out his links down in the description guys uh, check out my presets if you're really liking these tutorials tons of value in there i'm giving away my entire personal collection so check them out there and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching